Rudy Galindo was the underdog at the U.S. Championships in 1996. Overcoming professional and personal hardships, he thrilled his home crowd and the skating world with a breathtaking performance to win the men's title. And just wait for the ovation for this young man. He is 26 years old. He is skating to high He finished eighth in the Nationals Tykowski's last year. And in his seven previous Saint appearances Tykowski's here at the Nationals, Boston he has Berkeley, never stood California. on the medal podium. Carolina. Trying to do that for the first time Rudy from San Jose, Galindo. here is Rudy Galindo. Remember, he was the U.S. pair champion with Christy Yamaguchi. He's suffered an enormous amount of difficulties over the past few years. And this week, he has been skating brilliantly. And probably the toughest place to skate last in your hometown when everybody else is mm -hmm. done and you still have your whole program ahead of you. Swan Lake. The opening this combination. <laughs> oh, that's the best. That's the best movement in this men's yeah. competition. But look, it didn't even it, it didn't even phase him. He's just concentrating on what he has to do next. This combination of triple lutz. <laughs> triple lutz. Triple toe loop. Now that's guts. Yeah. Todd Eldridge leads at the, this point. Dan Hollander is in second. Rudy Galindo in third coming into the free skate. And remember, the top three most likely move on to the world championships. Look at the stretch there. He has more stretch, more flexibility than any skater really in the world of skating today. And you know he's been the most competitive and hungry competitor here all week. sees himself as a modern jazz dancer portraying the evil Baron von Rothbart in Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake. become the oldest men's national champion in 70 years and the second oldest in history. <laughs> oh, that's really marvelous. Beautiful. <laughs> Did you see that? He just stood right there and said hello to somebody in the audience. Oh, oh very nice. Very nice. And, Final spin. 
Look at that layback. And this so-called shotgun. There is no one in their seats at this point, including me. And many have tears in their eyes. Oh, I'm so proud of him. His sister, Laura Galindo, also his coach in his hometown of San Jose, California. Remember, in the last... Remember, in the last few years, he lost a father, a brother, and two coaches. He struggled to keep his vision of skating going, and tonight, he succeeded. He proved it. The tragedy that this young man has known, the perseverance, Protector the hard work. He has never made an appearance oh, on the oh, podium. Oh, oh, and the technical merit marks here, Dick. Oh, seven. That is just sensational. I, I am just thrilled with those marks. A range of 5.7 to 5.9. That was the same range as Todd Eldridge for his technical merit marks. But I think they were higher. And I'll, I'll, I'll bet you his artistic marks will be. <laughs> They're yelling six. The chant of six, six going up. Yes, judge number three. Judge number three. Barlow Nelson from Tulsa. And also judge number nine. And also Zero. judge number nine, nine Lori nine. Parker. Oh. Well, he deserved all Five sixes point. in my book for artistic Five impression. Point Five point Unofficially Five right now, Rudy Zero. Galindo would be the winner. The placements, as you saw a moment ago, would place him ahead of Todd Eldridge, who is the defending national champion. <laughs> and Todd Eldridge on stage hearing the ovations in this arena. Oh, golly, that is sensational. What a triumph.